did to really change the momentum for myself as far as um, how much I recruit is I decided that I was only going to talk about coaching. And this was around February. Um, I've always been a high success club number hitter. I've always brought in a lot of coaches. I've always brought in a lot of customers. And I still to this day bring in more customers than I do coaches. Not everyone wants to be a coach and that's fine. Um, but I will say the majority of people that I'm bringing on now are at least attempting to work the business. Whereas before it was like, you know, you bring on 10 and you hope that one does something like that's not a great ratio. <laughs> you want the people, you know, that's everyone's, like you said, desire to bring on business builders. Unfortunately, they're not just like people sitting out there in the internet land, like, I'm a business builder. I wish someone would invite me to build a business. Right? It's just not really a thing. So if you can get really, really crystal clear on your recruitment goals for the month. Um, so for instance, mine is to go diamond again every single month. So I'm recruiting eight new coaches and I'm helping at least two people on my team a month go emerald. Someone told me in the very beginning of my business, if you continually grow emeralds, you will never wor worry about your rank. And it's true. Um, so I never have to worry about, you know, obviously me dropping star diamond because of lack of actives. And I never, I never even have to check my second business center to know if she's going to maintain. Obviously she's, I'm, I'm saying she, like she's a different person, but I'm Danny number two is in five star qual right now. Like I never have to check and see if she has the actives, right? Because I've built the, my business center so strong because of this mentality of like, I will go diamond again every single month. And I just think as the leader on the team, you need to show your team what is possible. And for a new diamond, you don't really have many, if any, working coaches. So your job is to just continually go diamond again until you find those few that want to start building with you. Um, and you can do this as fast or slow as, pop, as as you want. I think Diamond Again every single month is a great goal to have because you yourself are bringing on new blood, which keeps you excited, helps you grow as a leader. And then you're helping at least two people every single month in your organization go Emerald, which again is going to make your rank a lot more solid. And you're not going to have to worry about this hamster wheel that most diamonds are on, right? Like every single week, like somebody's red and you're like, fucking shit, man. <laughs> like This is so exhausting, which is why people get to diamond and drop and then never get it back because that, that type of business is exhausting. But like for me, with how I've built my business, like I had to draw a line in the sand several years ago that I was never going to drop diamond again. Because when I first went diamond, it was like diamond, emerald, diamond, emerald. Di it was like a hangover. Like every single week, you're like, God, what am I going to be on Thursday? Right? And I see that with a lot of my diamonds now. It's like literally every week I'm like, because we do solid by Sunday. I'm like, hey, <laughs> have you checked in with Samantha? She doesn't order by Wednesday. You're going to drop. And it's like every week. 
you know, and that's not fun for anybody. So if we can adopt this mentality of having a specific recruitment goal, just the same way we do with SC, then you can actually be working towards that. When you're like, oh, I'm going to hit SC 20. Like you need to know like, okay, how many of those points are going to come from coaches? So like my minimum, obviously, if I'm bringing on eight coaches is I 16 of my points need to come from new coaches. And I try to go for SC 40 every single month. I'm not saying you have to hit huge numbers, but if you want your team to start leveling up, they need to see it from you first because people are not going to go where you haven't gone. So in February, I really had to just get serious with myself. And I was like, you know what? You're hitting SC 40 plus every single month, but it's like some months it's three coaches, some months it's five, some months it's 10, some months it's 12. Like there needs to be some kind of consistency. Um, and then obviously the onboarding process, you know, has to be really crystal clear too. But in February, I just decided, you know what? I'm only talking about coaching. I'm still going to invite to a boot camp behind the scene. But as far as my social media, if you went to my social media and read 99% of my posts, they are all about coaching. Every once in a while, I'll throw in a boot camp. But I think the mistake that most coaches make, and this leaves them really frustrated, is they're like, boot camp workout, boot camp workout, boot camp workout. And then they're like, Ugh, I can't find any business builders. And it's like, well, no fucking shit. Nobody knows that you're building a business. All you talk about is workouts and boot camps. Like, if I'm a hardworking, you know, high powered driven woman, like I probably already have a fitness regimen that I love. I'm not looking for a new fitness regimen. If I'm bored at my work, I'm looking for a challenge. So how can you invite me to this business that's going to challenge me to level me up, maybe give me some more income? Not everyone's looking for that. There's, you know, obviously women who have really high paying jobs but maybe they're bored. Maybe they've reached the top of that business and they need a new challenge in life. This could be that new challenge, but they're going to join someone who's speaking through the lens of a business builder, not a fitness junkie. And I think this is a huge mistake that most coaches make is like, let's say for instance, on Transformation Tuesday, everyone's like, these programs and products work, join me. And it's like, that's true. But what if you talked about you got these results because you're a coach and coaching taught you discipline, consistency, and to show up through the hard? That's a lot different. And you're talking to a different audience when you share that way. And I adopted that mindset a long time ago. Like I used to, I used to post about coaching Monday, Wednesday, Sunday, and then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I would do boot camps. And that worked for a little bit, but I still wasn't bringing on the high caliber women that I wanted to. So in February, I just drew that line in the sand and I'm like, I'm not posting about boot camps. I'll still talk about it in my stories. But for the majority, I'm only talking about inviting to speaking about coaching. Um, and it was a hard shift at first, but obviously everything that we did at first was uncomfortable. You just have to get through it. Um, and then making sure that every single person that says yes to you uh, for a challenge pack gets invited to be, become a team member. And all team members get added to the team page and all team members get a welcome email, whether or not they want to work the business, at least put that information in their hands so that they can decide whatever they want to do with it. So anytime someone gives me a yes to a challenge pack, um, so if we've gone into a conversation about a boot camp and they want to join, um, after they've given me their yes, their flavors, their package, I say, okay, last question. There's two options to join today. Both cost the same. One is as a customer, all future orders will be at retail price. One is as a coach, all future orders will be at 25% off. We do have a monthly fee of $15.95 for the coach account, which I pay as well. But this allows you to uh, have the opportunity to get paid for your referrals should you ever have any, which sounds best to you. Now, people will be right up front with you like, oh, customer's fine, right? If that question spooks somebody, they were never going to fill out the share cart anyways. But this is a great tool for your coaches who are trying to build to Emerald or you to have a more solid leg so you're not dropping diamond, right? So you're not like a very <laughs> bare bones diamond, right? So you have buffers on each leg. Now, I don't go out of my way to sign up coach of self is what we call them on my team, you know, discount coaches. Um, if I do, I typically put them under my husband to make his diamond super solid. 
Cause at this point in my business, I don't need any more discount coaches. Um, but maybe you do it at this point in your business. So that's fine. So everybody gets the offer to become a team member because you never know what they're going to see in the welcome email, or maybe the next day they lose their job and they read that welcome email and they're like, Hey, let's fricking do this. Or they see something in the team page that just sparks, you know, they're like, God, this looks like fun. And everyone's going on these trips. You never know, but you'll ne they'll never have that opportunity if they're not in the room or in the page to, to hear that information. So all my coach of self get added to my team page um, and they all get a welcome email. And I just say, Hey, I know you said you're not interested in the business side right now. Just file this away for a rainy day. And if you ever want to learn more about coaching, just pull it out and we can chit chat then. But at least they have the information. And I have had girls who have been coach of self for two years. All of a sudden this year, we're like, I want to do this. And now they're star diamond coaches. Like it's wild, right? So again, we never know what people are going to do. I mean, Ashley Molstead, top coach, she was a discount coach for like three years, right? <laughs> I mean, she doesn't even have a coach, like her sister-in-law signed her up and then quit. So you never know what people are going to do, but if you give them that option, they just might surprise you. Um, so as far as recruiting, I only talk about coaching and I made this big to do that for March, I was turning 36. So I was going to do 36 for 36. I was going to recruit 36 coaches. Spoiler alert. I didn't. <laughs> But I was like, I am not advertising a boot camp because the year before I did um, my birthday booty camp and I ended up signing up 35 people. It was awesome. But I'm like, I am not doing the booty camp this year. I'm just doing the coach mentorship. And it was like halfway through the month and I only had one coach and I was just so embarrassed. I'm like, okay, this plan is like, uh, in the garbage and on fire. Like, I don't know what's going on here. I was so embarrassed. I even made a boot camp graphic to start advertising. And I'm like, no, I'm like freaking having this internal struggle. Like, God, please don't do it. And I wrote it out. And by the end of the month, I ended up signing up 10 coaches. And then I did that same thing in April, signed 10 coaches, did that same thing in May, same thing in June, July, I ended up signing 16 coaches, 11 of them on the day of the MBF launch. And I've just been rocking and rolling ever since, just going with this idea of that if the team is the true opportunity, then why am I talking about boot camps? I am so consistent in my fitness, in my posting, in my showing up on social. People are going to want fitness from me because they see it from me every single day. So I don't need to like go hard and like go to the ends of the earth trying to fill a boot camp when my consistency in posting and showing up and talking about workouts is enough to fill a boot camp, right? If I want to find women who want to work this business, it has to be crystal clear that I'm a business owner and that I mentor others to build this business as well. Because there's a lot of other coaches that they could join. So I have to be in the forefront of people's minds. I have to position myself as the leader in my, you know, in my arena so that people want to join me or at least are open to having a conversation with me. So as far as like posting about coaching, I do um, an invite to join the team every single day in stories, even if it like kills me, right? I will make sure every single day I am on my stories talking about my upcoming mentorship, posting the graphic. Um, I do a sneak peek at least twice a month once or twice a month and i'll either do a live zoom webinar i feel like if you can get people on a zoom they're going to sign up now the hard part is getting people to get on a zoom but if you can get people to get on a zoom they're pretty much going to sign up um i have a coach pdf that i can send people i have like 500 ways to get people information about coaching and it's all super simple concise very clear info to see if they want to join because some people are happy to have a DM conversation with you. Some people are like, I don't have time for this. I don't even have messenger on my phone. Just, you know, I can show up for a 30 minute webinar, right? Some people are like, I don't do any social, just send me an email with all the info. And you're like, great. So it's great to have these different kind of third party tools and different ways for people to learn about coaching. Because if you're doing that, this same thing every single month, people are going to kind of be like, oh, well, I'll just catch the next one. She does it every third Friday. I'm going to do that, right? I also have an Instagram sneak peek because people are always on social. So they can take the weekend and, and listen to four videos. It's like 12 minutes long, right? So different ways to teach people about coaching. And then 
Every single day when I sit down to fill out my tracker, I get on my stories and I say, hey guys, I'm sitting down to work. I'm gonna be at my computer for the next hour or so. If you requested information, even if no one fucking requested information, right? <laughs> if you requested information yesterday, I'm gonna send it to you. So positioning myself as the leader in, in, in this, um, keep blanking on the word, in this arena, but uh, so people know that this is a business and that it requires work because what a lot of people do is they're like, share the swag and the trips and the fun. And then you get people who just want to like go to the Bahamas and, and drink Trulies and you're like, okay, yeah, but you got to actually work hard to do that. So, and then they're not interested in working hard. Like if they only see the fun, then they're not going to realize the actual work that it takes to build this business. And I have had people say, I didn't realize it would be this hard, which was a light bulb to me when I, when she told me that, that I was not showing the hard, I was just showing the success and the wins. Right. So, um, sharing when you fail, when you miss goals, the being, leaving your ego at the door basically, and being willing to say, we missed this goal, like me missing elite three years in a row and every fucking Thanksgiving having to say, well, we missed it again, right? But I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to look silly to show people that, hey, this does take hard work. So if you like to work hard, then let's link arms and let's do this together. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? Such good information. I don't even know where to start, but one of my things is I tend to overcomplicate or over vomit or all these things. So when you say you have like a coach PDF, what is highlighted for the rundown of what a coach does? You know, I actually, the, the PDF that I have, I might need to change it. The PDF is kind of almost more for like a team member versus a business builder. So I'm thinking that one will be something that more that I'll send to um, someone who's inquiring about a boot camp. I just, a girl just filled out my coach survey um, earlier this week and I sent it to her and then she's like, I guess I'm confused. Am I signing up to be a coach? And I'm like, well, you fucking tell me. <laughs> I don't know. You're the one who reached out to me, lady. Um, and I was like, after looking at it again, I can pull, I can sh share my screen. After looking at it again, I'm like, oh, this is kind of more like someone inquired about a boot camp and then you're just trying to sell coaching to it. So I might need to have one that's strictly on coaching that gives a little more um, nitty gritty. Let me. Maybe, I guess, like, how would you articulate? So a couple things, what happens to me sometimes they're like, oh, well, what, like they won't get on a conversation with me or an area because I would like to talk to them and I probably word vomit on them anyway. So, but I want to be able to send them a couple like quick information things. So like, how would you articulate that? Um, so if I, if I was in my stories, I would say, hey guys, I've created this PDF that's really short and sweet, that's all about coaching. Um, I know sometimes people don't like to chat in DMs or on email, so just drop your email in this question box and I'll send it over to you. And if you have questions, we can chat. If not, no worries. Um, I always try to like not give people an out, but let them know like it's okay because like they're just as scared as me as I'm scared of them, right? Like people are weird, like they like, <laughs> don't want to chit chat they're like all nervous so it's like hey you don't even have to talk to a human I'll just email it over just drop your email right in this box right like I just try to be as real and candid as possible if it was a thing where so like this girl um whenever someone fills out my survey I always dm them from wherever they said they found me because on my survey I ask them where they found me whether it's Instagram or um Facebook and so I always DM them wherever they found me. And then I say, hey, I got your coach survey. Is it okay to chat here? Which, cause that's how I prefer to chat. I'm like, or do you prefer email? And she was like, I prefer email. I don't have messenger um, on my phone. I'm like, great, I'm gonna send you a PDF. You let me know what questions you have. So I just sent her the PDF. Now, if she had said she wanted to chat right there, I wouldn't have sent her the PDF. I would have just chit chatted back and forth. Where did your conversation go? If someone's like, okay, see you working, can you tell me more about this coaching thing? Like a super vague question. What is your kind of go-to response to that? 
Um, so I have like a whole script. It's literally titled what Danny says, and I, I can share that with you guys. Um, but if somebody's like interested in coaching or boot camp, doesn't really matter. My first question to them is always, are you familiar with Beachbody programs and Shakeology? Because if I send them my blurb on what coaches do, like in there, it says like, be proof the products work. Like if they don't even know what the products are, then that isn't going to make any sense to them. So I always ask that question first to gauge like their knowledge. Um, and you'd be surprised how many people who are already coaches fill out my coaching survey. It's the most fucking annoying thing in the world. Um, it's like, okay, get the hell out of here. Anyways. Um, so I always ask that question first to gauge their knowledge. Cause I don't need to explain bad if they're like, yeah, I'm already a bad member. And you're like, oh, okay, great. Um, so if they say they don't know anything, then I will send them a short blurb on what bot is and a short blurb on Shakeology. And then I will wait. And then when they're like, oh, that sounds great. I always validate what they say. So if they're like, oh, that sounds awesome. I'm like, it is awesome. Let me tell you about what I do as a coach. And then I just send a little blurb that basically just says, so essentially my job as a coach is to be proof that the products work by following programs from start to finish and drinking Shakeology. Um, I share my journey openly and authentically on social media and I invite others to join me. And then I say coaches make 25% commission on everything people purchase from them. And we get a great discount on all products as well. Um, and then, you know, that's basically it. So I'm not like a, I'm not that person that like ends everything with a question. That's just not how I do things. So, um, I just normally wait for their response after that. If they like ghost after that, then I would probably follow up the next day and say, Hey, what do you think? Are you still interested in learning more about coaching? How much time do you exhaust on coaches? Like, feels like I've had a girl that I worked like with for like six weeks, and then she completely canceled everything. So like maybe I like word vomited or like overwhelmed her. But like, how long do you invest? I suppose is what because I'm very new to this. So like, how long do you give people of your time? Um, I mean. I will match anyone's effort, the same effort that they give to me. So if I sign up a new coach and they're literally messaging me every single day, asking questions, like I will answer all questions. I feel like just because of who I am, people know I don't like people to waste my time. So I don't really have people who are like constantly requesting like one-on-ones with me. Um, so I've, I've never really had to deal with that. I know a lot of other coaches do. I haven't had to deal with that. Um, but I do, I think, set the expectation in their GSR, like, okay, here's your first goal. Your first goal is to go Emerald today. And then after that, we just need to help one more person and get you to success club. After that, we'll set, set new goals for you. And so it's just kind of working towards that. But if they're not texting me, I might check in like once a week and ask them how their invites are going. But other than that, if they're not showing up, not asking me questions, not getting on team calls, I'm not like a tag and drag type of coach. Like I'm not going to tag you every Monday in the team call and be like, hope to see you on tonight. Like, <laughs> I mean, you either want to be there or you don't. And, you know, sometimes I think when people are uh, going MIA, it just makes them feel worse to see that they're being tagged and stuff, knowing they're not going to show up. So I just, you know, I just always tell my team like open heart, open hands. I am here whenever you want to do this. I'm always here to help you, but I have to keep moving. So, you know, my team knows that I'm just going to keep running regardless. So if they want to come, then my hands are always outstretched for you, but I am not going to sit down in the parking lot and have a tantrum with you while you're taking a step back. Like, it's just not, it's not going to happen. So, Two questions. One, which is probably going to be pretty easy for you to answer. You were talking about signing up eight coaches. Mm -hmm. um, um, what do you mean by that? Do you mean do, you're okay with that signing up? Because I know you mentioned um, you don't really need discount coaches, but is it okay if they are a discount coach? Does that still qualify as one of your eight coaches? Oh, yes. Okay. And then my other question for you is, um, because that's been my struggle, is I'm um, God inviting to coaching? Um, I don't I, I started to do it more on my social media, 
but I don't do it very well. Uh, uh, your coach survey, where is that? And like, what do you ask on that coach survey? Because that is something that I feel like maybe would be a start for me to develop something like that. So I was just curious. Yeah, if you guys don't have a, let me turn this down too. If you guys don't have like a, a link tree that has a survey um, for people to join your boot camps or like an interest form to get, you know, information on an upcoming program or something, and then a, a, basically a coach application, I would highly encourage you to do that. You can literally go look at mine. It's in the, um, I don't have link tree anymore, but it's the same. It's in the bio of, of my Instagram. Um, and it's just like, seven or eight questions basically trying to gauge like what what they want out of the business right like one of them is like um you know what what type of income are you hoping to earn from this you know i would say 90 percent of people hit they want to earn 500 dollars a month every once in a while someone will be like i want to replace my full-time income and be a top coach those people never do anything <laughs> I'm like, oh, you do? Okay, good job. You never even did a coming out as coach post. Um, you know, and some people will be like, just get my products covered each month. So it, I have different answers, but you can literally go look at it. it I just made it in SurveyMonkey. You can do it for free in Google Forms if you want. But just to try to gauge, one, what they know and what they're hoping to get out of this, out of the business. And a lot of times on that survey, since it's like, somewhat anonymous right obviously like they fill it out and then the ball's in my court people will be more honest than if you were to like ask them like okay how much are you hoping to earn each month most people are like oh I mean it would be nice to earn some money and you're like yeah you'll never earn a fucking dime so all right get out of here like so you know I feel like the form people can be a little more honest because it's like somewhat anonymous right um, but as far as, yeah, so I, I mainly invite to boot camps. I do less like behind the scenes coach invites because I feel like I'm looking for a very specific person. I feel like everybody can be in the boot camp, but because I talk about and post so much and invite so much on my stories. And then most of my, um, posts are about coaching and they have a call to action to fill out my survey or to drop their email for more information, whatever, right? I try to switch it up. Um, I do get into a lot of conversations with people about coaching. So that's how I'm able to recruit at least eight coaches a month, right? And, and majority of them who are actually wanting to do something with the business. Um, again, I do offer the team member opportunity to everyone who, sees, who says yes to a, a challenge pack. But, you know, a lot of people will be like, oh no, customer's great. And I'm like, great. No problem. So. So before we let you go, I would love to hear you. You're a boss at inviting to and talking about coaching. Someone signs up. What's your process for getting them started right away? Um. um so as soon as so, so as soon as I see that they're in the back office, because you know sometimes people are like, I submitted it, and then you're like, three hours have gone by and they're not there. Um, as soon as I see them in the back office, I send them the welcome email and the welcome email basically just says like, Hey, thank you so much. I'm so excited that you've joined the team. This opportunity changed my life. Um, first and foremost, your number one job is to work on yourself. But while we're doing that, let's grab two to three friends right away and get you started. I have a link to, uh, the Rob Pearson Emerald in an hour video and saying like, okay, we're going to go Emerald basically today. Uh, so find your two people. And then I have um, a link to our team training site, which is just like six short videos of me explaining how to do a coming out as a coach post, um, what Emerald is, what Success Club is, what Success Starters is, and then how to set up their back office. Um, I had a My Challenge Tracker app on there, but obviously that's not relevant anymore. Um, and then in the email, it says, once you have watched all these videos, and this is in big red letters, text me your goals. <laughs> so I wait for their text. So you'd be surprised how many people do not text. They literally will just message me back wherever we were talking. I'm like, did you see those big red letters? Literally said, text me. Okay. <laughs> I just prefer to communicate with my coaches over text and like save DMs for like potential people. 
But anyway, so then after they text me their goals. And so What's wrong, Bobby? What do you mean? You don't like this star? Okay. Let's just it. But it's all right. Okay. I don't know how to get back to the regular one. Let me fix it. Um, there we go. You want to do the numbers one? No. Okay. You can do whatever one you want. It's okay. It's okay. All right. It's all right. Okay. Right. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> anyway, so set up their uh, GSR on the GSR. I basically asked them a couple questions to help me get to know them and for me to formulate. It's okay, Bob. <laughs> What's wrong? What can I get you? What do you need? You need a pink snap. Okay, so let me get that for you. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, she swaps out. After she sends that thing, then she gets on a call with them. Will she have them watch the video? Watch the video. So they go and then they can turn to the video. Oh, I thought I was like, Zoom, but I'm like, is she something besides this? Not like an idiot. But I want to ask her, are they already? Okay, so get them on the GSR, ask them like a couple questions. Um, basically, tell me a little bit about yourself because you know, obviously, a lot of people I'm meeting on social media, so I don't really know in real life. What can I get you? She's three. Okay. So, um, GSR, ask them, tell me a little bit about yourself. And then I ask them to share what fitness has looked like for them. All of these questions are basically me formulating. They're coming out as a coach post. Cause a lot of people you'll be like, okay, go share why you're doing this. And they're like, Hey everyone, I'm a beach body coach. And you're like, what the fuck was that? Like, don't do that. God. So like, I try to get, basically write out their coming out as a coach post from these answers that they give me. Um, so what fitness has looked like for them. And then I kind of prompt them, like, is this something you've always been passionate about? Is this an area you've ever struggled in? Cause normally when you ask people that they'll like tell you their life story. Um, and then I ask them two words to describe themselves. And it's wild. People are like, driven and determined and then they cancel 24 hours later you're like oh yes i see that i see you're very determined <laughs> anyways um and then i ask them if there's anything that makes them nervous about being a coach so i can just kind of take care of any hes hes hesitations or reservations that they have right in that moment and just kind of squash it and then i ask them on the flip side what are they excited about being a coach um, always best to do the negative first so that they're ending on a positive and, and they get really excited. And then I ask them if their first 90 days as a coach could go absolutely perfect, what does that look like? And again, I give them prompts. I'm like, is that you finishing a program? Is that you hitting a certain physical milestone? Is that you earning your investment back? Is that you getting a few people on your team, hitting the first rank in the company? Like I prompt them with these things. And a lot of people will be like, all of it. And I'm like, great, right? So I can kind of gauge like how much they're going to do or how committed or how like ready to go they are. You know, if they're like, I think I just want to, you know, finish a program first before I start talking to people. You're like, oh, okay, so that's not really somebody that you're going to be like pushing, you know, hard to, to get anywhere, right? So um, 
And then I asked them if they have any questions for me and I let them ask them, me anything that they have. And then from there, I explain Success Club, Success Starters and Emerald. And I say, okay, we're gonna get to Emerald today. Who are your two people? If they have a spouse, then I explain exactly how to sign their spouse up with a challenge pack so that they get the commission and the Success Club points. Um, you know, and a lot of people are like, well, I don't, we don't need two bods. I'm like, we're not really paying for the bod because you're getting $50 back. So just like explaining it to them. Cause if you try to do it over text, it doesn't really work. So I try to do it all in person. Um, and then obviously it's, it's up to them whether they actually sign their spouse up or not. Um, some people just cannot afford to do that, which is totally fine. Then I'm like, okay, we got to hustle and find two people. Um, and get you to Emerald as soon as possible. What I like to do to show the benefits of Emerald is I will take them to my husband's business center because he has a lot of carryover volume because my second business center is under him. And I'll say, if he wasn't Emerald last week, you know, or last Wednesday, we would have flushed $3,000 down the toilet. Like make it make dollars and cents to them. Otherwise they're just silly words that like, they're like, okay, volume. Like, I don't like, it doesn't make any sense to them. So if I can show them the numbers and be like, this is the opportunity that you have by getting one, your spouse at the top of your business center and two, by building a team. So. Love that. Do you guys have any last questions for Danny? That was amazing. That was amazing. Exactly what we needed to hear. It was. Exactly. Thanks. You are like the strength of the network's weakness. Like seriously, it's like as a company, Beachbody's weakness is invited to coaching. Like you talk to any team mm -hmm. and everyone's weakness is inviting to coaching, being able to talk about it. How do you explain what a coach does? How do you get them started right? And you're just absolutely crushing it. And I love how simple you've made it. So thank you so much for spending time. Thank you yeah. for sharing your mommy for a little yeah. bit with us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take really a picture. Yes, I'm totally nursing. I'm not showing you my boob right now. So I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, cuties. <laughs> okay, say bye bye, Chloe. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, have a great retreat, you guys. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Danny. Have a great day. Thank you. Yeah. That's what we said. Ask for help. I did. Good. Good job. So good for you.